Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Nacho here, and welcome to another video. Uh, fucking finally, <laughs> I think is the right way to start this video off. So, uh, most of you know that I've been in Mexico for the past two weeks. Well, actually, I came back about a week ago. I want to say a little bit less than, a little bit more than a week ago. Actually, I think. How long has it been? I don't even know. I'm so. I don't even remember when I came back, but it's been around a week that I've been back from Mexico, but I've just been super, super busy with my work life, you know, I've been trying to balance my two jobs, I just got the promotion at FedEx that uh, most of you know that I've been talking about for a while, uh, so they've been training me hardcore, um, and I've been learning just a bunch of new things, and it's just been kind of hard to balance uh, YouTube and those kind of things, but uh, there was one thing that I wasn't, uh, that I, or that I didn't know about while I was in Mexico, and it wasn't towards the end of my stay in Mexico that I realized this, and um, I just want to apologize guys because I had told you guys that I scheduled uploaded a bunch of videos for you guys for the two weeks that I was going to be gone uh, so you guys would still be able to you know see videos and you know just, it was basically the live commentary session that I recorded for Advanced Warfare um, but the thing was when I was in Mexico I checked about like it was probably like my like the fucking like third or fourth last day that I was there uh, before I left uh, I went out to YouTube because the internet out there was absolutely horrendous like I couldn't even post on Instagram uh, I could barely post on Twitter um, I barely did any like web browsing at all because the internet out there the download speed was 0.06 megabytes per second and the upload speed was like 0.01 megabytes per second so uh, it really was <laughs> it was not usable internet for shit um, so basically uh, right before I was about to leave back from Mexico I checked on my YouTube channel and it had said that a lot of my, or not a lot, all of my scheduled uploaded, all of my scheduled uploads had failed. And the thing was, I had, right before I left to Mexico, I had just left my computer on and I just literally put one video after the other video after the other video in my video upload manager. And I had just left it so that I had scheduled them, had titled them, had descriptions, everything all good to go. And uh, when I was in Mexico, come to find out, none of the videos got uploaded because something must have went wrong with my computer. It must have, I don't know, restarted itself from being on too long. I, I don't fucking know know much about computers but my computer is pretty wacky and sometimes when I leave it on for too long it'll just turn itself off uh, maybe that's what happened or maybe it was just a YouTube problem but um, I think I think the reason why it happened was because I, most of you don't know or not most of you none of you know because I don't really talk about this kind of stuff uh, but my YouTube channel was actually hijacked for a bit and not hijacked in the sense that they were on my YouTube channel you know taking all my videos doing all that stuff um, someone had hacked into my computer a while ago it was probably about a month or two ago, not even, it's probably been like two or three months to be honest. Uh, someone had hacked into my computer with a virus and they got access to all my passwords, all my accounts, everything on my computer. Basically they were not just on my YouTube, they were on my Gmails, my Instagrams, everything, everything, everything. And they were just piggybacking a lot of my accounts. So um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a part of the Maker uh, Studios network and uh, I had no idea that this person was on my account. I have no idea how long they were on there for. I'm assuming it came from the virus because uh, right around the time when I got the virus is when my YouTube channel started acting kind of funky. Um, I went on my Maker Max, uh, my dashboard, because for those of you who don't know who don't make YouTube videos, uh, when you're a YouTube partner, you get a video or you get a dashboard, you know, to track all your statistics, like your views, uh, where they're coming from, which videos are getting traction, stuff like that, comments, you know, just basic analytics that you could use to, I guess, help grow your channel. Um, when I went on my Maker Max page, um, it showed that I had Papa Nacho TV under the main, I guess, like, uh, account that was linked to my Maker Studios profile, which is allows me to make money off of my YouTube videos. And next to my P Papa Nacho TV channel, there was a blank, like, spot, and it just had some random gibberish, like some random name. I don't even remember it anymore, to be honest. Um, but... Uh, when I went on socialblade.com, it, sh it showed that I was partnered by a different networks, so I thought that that was really, really strange. Uh, so I got into contact with Maker Studios uh, with their, you know, support team, and basically they, we were working it out for the past month. And I think right around the time when I went to Mexico is when they finally got everything figured out. You know, I had to reaccept the CMS invite or whatever it is, the thing that allows you to make money off of your videos. I forgot what the hell it's called, uh, but I had to reaccept that stuff. I basically became a partner again through Maker Studios, as if I had just barely joined the network because they wanted to clean my slate to make sure that this person wasn't going to be able to piggyback me anymore and uh, it 
looks as if my channel is in good standing now, but I think when they, I relinked my channel with Maker Studios right before I left for Mexico, uh, they told me that it was still going to be another week or two of monitoring my channel to make sure there was no activity that was, you know, kind of funky or uh, weird. They were going to be watching over my channel to make sure nothing was wrong. And I think right around the time when the process got finalized is just where, why my scheduled videos didn't get uploaded. Maybe there was just something wrong uh, because my channel was being linked to a network again or I don't know. YouTube works really weirdly. Uh, for any of you who know, or for any of you who make YouTube videos, you guys know how how shitty YouTube can be at times. Uh, but I think that had something to do with it. When my channel got relinked, it probably just fucked up all my scheduled videos. Uh, so. I do apologize for that guys, but you guys can expect to see those videos this, this coming week, or this week, not this coming week, this week. Uh, I just, I'm just i just going to re-upload all of them, so you guys can expect to see those as early as either tomorrow or on uh, Tuesday. Uh, I got work in an hour, so I'm not too sure if I'll be able to, you know, just start uploading all that kind of stuff. But um, I'll, I'll see how it goes, and uh, I do apologize for not making videos guys, but I hope you guys understand that my YouTube channel was kind of jeopardized. Not kind of, it was jeopardized. So basically, I wasn't making money from my videos for the past, I don't know how long because my YouTube channel was originally link linked to my dad's bank account because when I first got partnered through YouTube I think I was only like 16 years old so I didn't even have a bank account and uh, wow I'm 19 now it's so crazy to think that uh, but yeah it's uh it uh it was linked to my dad's bank account and just this past month uh, I finally got my YouTube channel linked to my personal bank account and I actually got paid this month for my YouTube videos so I thought that was pretty fucking sweet like just seeing a direct deposit go through to my bank account like it makes me, it's kind of, it sucks to say this, but it makes me more motivated to make videos. Not for the money aspect, but because you kind of see your effort being, you know, returned to you, you know? It kind of sucks when you just give and give and give and you don't get anything back. And don't get me wrong, the comments and everything are fucking awesome. I fucking love interacting with the people. But it's nice at the end of the day to, you know, see blah blah blah, like, has repaid you for this. Blah blah blah, has repaid you for this. Because before, it would just all go to my dad's bank account and I wasn't seeing anything of it. So that's why, because it kind of wasn't as motivated to make videos. But now that everything's figured out, now that my YouTube channel is perfectly mine and now that everything is linked to me instead of being linked to you know a family member or someone else or something like that everything should be good to go so i do apologize that this video is kind of boring guys it was kind of informative and i'm kind of i'm kind of tired i just came home from the gym today was the first day i went to the gym in a month because of mexico i have one or two vlogs to upload from mexico so you guys can expect us to, to see those too i'm sorry i just burped um but I'm gonna go eat breakfast before I go into work guys, so I really do appreciate uh, you guys watching the video and uh, thank you guys so much for understanding if you guys do and if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, but yeah, expect my regular basis of uploading videos again uh, this coming week and sorry for being so damn lazy Amir. Have a good one you guys and uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram, link is in the description. I recently changed my Instagram name to Von Verdes and uh, my Twitter also, I'll link that in the description. I started using Twitter a lot more so for those of you who tweet a lot or are on the twatter a lot i think as only using blade would say i don't even remember i don't really watch youtube videos anymore uh be sure to follow me on twitter and on instagram i'd really appreciate it but other than that have a fucking fantastic day you guys <laughs> i'll see you guys later in the week peace out nacho nation